As many as 14 opposition political parties have moved the Supreme Court alleging misuse of investigating agencies such as Central Bureau of Investigation, CBI, and the Enforcement Directorate, ED, by the government, seeking guidelines on arrest, remand and bail. These 14 political parties include the Congress, Rashtriya Janata Dal, DMK, TMC, AAP, Bharat Rashtra Samiti and others. A bench led by CJIDY Chandra Chud agreed to take it up on April 5th. These parties have moved SC alleging the alarming rise in the use of coercive criminal processes against opposition political leaders and other citizens who exercise their fundamental right to dissent and disagree with the present central government. The petitioners have argued that these probe agencies are being increasingly deployed in a selective and targeted manner with a view to completely crushing political dissent and upending the fundamental premises of a representative democracy. The political parties have sought guidelines to fulfill and realize the guarantee of personal liberty under the Constitution, for all citizens, including those targeted for exercising their right to political dissent and for performing their duties as the political opposition. The petition has sought certain prospectively applicable guidelines governing the arrest, remand, and bail of persons for offenses, which may or may not be punishable with imprisonment for above seven years, not involving serious bodily harm, thereby obviously excluding homicide, rape, terrorism etc. The petitioners have also sought a triple test, whether a person is a flight risk, or whether there is a reasonable apprehension of the tampering of evidence or of the influencing intimidation of witnesses, on actions taken by police, head officials and courts alike for arrest of persons in any cognizable offenses, except those involving serious bodily violence. Where these conditions are not satisfied, alternatives like interrogation at fixed hours or a maximum house arrest shall be used to meet the demands of the investigation. As for bail, petitioners requested the Supreme Court that the principle of bail as rule, jail as exception be followed by all courts throughout, especially in cases where non-violent offenses are alleged, and that bail be denied only where the aforementioned triple test is met. Where special laws such as Prevention of Money Laundering Act, PMLA, with stringent bail conditions are concerned, the petitioners have sought that such bail provisions be harmonized with Article 21 of the Constitution. Therefore, when it appears that the trial is unlikely to complete within six months, the accused must be released on bail even under special laws unless the conditions in the triple test are not fulfilled.